Hello, welcome to Steve McDonald's Crafting and today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be changing this pot. Now I got these from a local supermarket near me called Aldi. I popped in to see what sort of bits they had and they had these which were really cheap but they only really had them in this one colour and to be perfectly honest it's not a colour that does anything for me. Being colour blind it's kind of a non-colour to me so it doesn't really fit with anything that I want and what I'm going to plan to do with these is I plan to use them in my studio to hang somewhere and keep my paintbrushes or something similar in them because I'm always looking for them. What I've bought is I've bought some metallic spray paint. So I'm going to spray them and then I'll show you how to spray them. And then I'm also going to put some embellishments on them as well using some vinyl. But the first thing that you need to do before you spray them is any bits that you don't want to be coloured, then you just tape it off. And I've already done it on this one, and it's really quite easy to take something off that's circular. You just take a small piece of tape like so, and now I'm just going to slide it under there because you want to make sure that it doesn't touch anywhere where you know that you want painted because wherever this touches, the paint isn't going to be. So it's always good to just check it out. I then pull that tight, pop it around there like that. Ensure using my nail that it's nicely stuck down and not actually on the metal itself. As you can see, this isn't on the metal anywhere. And now it's touching inside and I do want to spray inside. So all I go do is go around with a really sharp scalpel right up to the edge. It's not going to scratch it because I'm only just cutting through the tape. And also I am going to be spraying it anyway. And then I pull that tape away. And then once again, I just run my nail. And if you haven't got a nail, you could use anything, a little bit of plastic or something, under there to ensure that that's only sticking to where I want it. And then I'll go all the way round and I'll do that. And then I'm going to show you quickly how the best way to get the best results when you're using any sort of spray and you want to change something. And I love this because it's a metallic blue. Well, this is a fast drying metallic paint because it's an acrylic paint. So it is really used for inside. But if you were to, once you'd sprayed it, if you were to cover it with a varnish, then it would be quite hard wearing. But I'm going to spray this outside. I always spray outside because firstly, I don't want the mess in the studio. And secondly, I just don't want all those vapors around. The best thing to do is really give it a good shake. There is a ball inside that will make a lot of rattling noise, but just shake it for about a minute and then you can spray. And when I spray, I spray from about 12 inches away and I do light sweeping motions and do a very fine coat because I will always give it more than one coat and you get a better result by doing fine sweeping motions and thin layers. So as you can see, I've got this now ready and I'm outside with it on my table. Now I always use this little garden table for spraying and as you can imagine, it is covered in so many different colors. So I'm giving sweeping sprays over this pot and the last thing I want is for there to be any runs or drips or sticky bits in it. And by giving it several coats like this, then you'll find that you'll get a much evener coat all the way over and it will look much more professional as well. And it's, I think, a lot stronger. And I'll do exactly the same thing when I have to do the second pot. And I will just put it there. Oh, God, I must have missed a bit. Put it there and then give it a light spraying over. And again, that masking tape will prevent any of the paint going on that chrome edge and it is quite useful having these hanging bits as well because it does mean that I can hold it while I'm doing it but if I didn't have that then I would rig something up so I could let it hang to spray. I'm quite happy with that and I'm just going to now finish spraying this off and then I'll leave it until it's dry and then I will give it another spray and then probably a third spray.
And what I'll do is I'll leave those for a little while just to let them dry and, and as it's an acrylic paint, it won't take long to dry at all and then I'll give it a second coat. But actually, the mottled look does look quite nice, but I do want a solid look for these. Well, the first coat's dry now, so I've just got to give it a second coat. And that noise you can hear in the background is actually my Cricut printing out or cutting out the labels. So it is nice and dry, it took about 15 minutes. So again, all I'm going to do now with this second coat is go over it, making sure that I cover everywhere. And what I'll do now is I'll let them dry and then I will put the stickers on them and I'll show you how I do that and then take the tape off and show you what they look like finished. These have dried nicely now and I think they've covered really, really well. I do like them. And obviously I've still got this tape on here so I can take this tape off now and it should just pull off. as it's just a masking tape. And as you can see, it's left that a really nice, neat edge. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off and I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna apply the labels. I've got my labels all cut out of permanent vinyl and they're just going to go in the middle there like that. Now, if you wanna know how I make these, then I'll link the video on this at the end of this video because they're really easy and they're great. I've got everything labelled in my studio and it really makes a big difference. So I'm going to try and put this on as cent centrally as possible, but it probably won't be and it'll probably be on the wonk a little bit. But I don't mind that. It's my art studio after all. And I like things to be a little bit quirky. I'm just going to take this transfer tape off. There we go, so that's one that says paint brushes on it. And I'll just finish off the other one and I'll show you what they look like hung up. There they go, I'm really pleased with how they've come out. They look great, they're nicely covered, very easy to do, cheap to make, and actually really cheap to put together, and very useful. So I've got all my brushes in them now, they're out of the way, and when I need them, I can just go up there and get them. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Check out some of my videos and I'll link the one on how to make the labels at the end of this video. If you'd like to buy me a coffee just to say thank you for any of the videos that I make and help support me and my channel and get on my coffee board, it's really greatly appreciated. And the links to that and the links to everything that I've used today are in the description below. Take care, enjoy your crafting, bye.